Welcome back again and let's talk about nice huge difficulty and how nice huge difficulty will most likely never actually drop and it will never be less than it is currently right now. And profits might actually seem pretty low right now but they are better than we had one or two years ago and they might even continue to go down for maybe like 50 more percent when it stops being profitable for the most of the people that have to pay high electricity cost. But in this, there is one good news for Nicish miners, and it is this article right here that says that NVIDIA is unlikely to reveal new GPUs in 2018 at GDC. So GDC is Game Developers Conference, and this is the time when NVIDIA almost always reveals their new GPU series. And this GDC is in March, so it is pretty soon, in about one week from now. But the, as the rumors say, NVIDIA will not release new GPUs now, and they will most likely come in the span of next six months. And the reason for that is because they don't have to release them. All of their Pascal-based GPUs, the, the 1000 series, is selling as much as they can currently produce. And even if they would like to increase their production lineup, they cannot do that because they are currently at 100%. And AMD is no competition for them currently, because the only mining cards that AMD currently has that are pretty good are RX 570, 580, and Vega 56 and 64 cards. And those cards are not good for all of the algorithms that NVIDIA can mine. They are best for something like Kryptonite or Ethereum. But NVIDIA still beats them at Equihash and NeoScript. So NVIDIA really has no real reason to release those new GPUs because they are selling all of them. And they would be kind of stupid to release them right now if they can just continue to monetize their old GPU series that they probably have so good production lineup right now that they cannot measure that with the new GTX 2000 series. So are the nice hash miners safe for another six months? This is the question that we are going to answer right now. And if you think the difficulty will stay the same because NVIDIA is not releasing new GPU cards, you are actually wrong because if you look at the Bitcoin difficulty chart, and of course you are not mining Bitcoin with nice hash, you are mining all the other altcoins, but the difficulty chart for all other altcoins is almost the same as Bitcoin difficulty chart. And I have chosen to show you the Bitcoin difficulty chart instead of some altcoin difficulty because we have the longest span of years for Bitcoin we have from the first day of 2009 that Bitcoin got released to the today. And you can see the difficulty from 2015 when it was 40 giga hashes per second went to 3.5 terahashes per second which is almost 100 times increase in difficulty in just the last 2 to 3 years. And the same thing is happening with all other altcoins and difficulty continues to go up. Now it doesn't matter if the Bitcoin price is going down or if Bitcoin price is going up. And it is kind of strange to see that because people think that when Bitcoin price and the altcoin prices will go down that people will actually stop mining. But this doesn't seem to be the case. Because people don't stop mining when prices go down and when the profitability goes down because if they invested so much money into the mining rigs, who are they going to sell those mining rigs? Because once people start buying them like crazy, everybody has a mining rig and there is just not enough people, not enough gamers to buy all of those graphics cards and instead of them selling those cards at a loss, they just continue to mine with maybe only like few dollars of profit per day. And this is why we see difficulty going up all the time and it will continue to go up all the time. It went up from 2009 to 2018 almost every single two weeks so when the difficulty changes itself to measure how many miners there currently are on the network. And in 2009 and the difficulty was only one and the difficulty was one for the whole year of 2009. And then in 2010 it started going up slowly one by one until we have seen in 2012 difficulty go up to 1.15 million. So that was insane difficulty increase even bigger than we have seen from 2015 to 2018 and probably it is going to continue to go up. And you have about six more months of mining profitably with your old well 
kind of they are kind of newest that we can buy now GTX 1000 series but in six months when the new 2000 series comes up you will have to change them because the, if the difficulty continues to go up like this in only like six months it went up from 1.3 terahashes to 3.5 terahashes that means the difficulty doubled in the last six months and if difficulty doubles in the next six months you will have to change your GPUs and when you change your GPUs for the 2000 series your profits will probably stay the same as they are right now with 1000 series and of course everything can change if altcoins continue to go up even more than they are going up in the last few days we have seen like 20 percent correction for prices to go up and if altcoins don't follow this difficulty increase your profits will go down even more but most likely you are safe for the next six months and you shouldn't worry about your profits just uh, continue to mine and don't look at the dollars amount you're mining just continue to look at the bitcoin amount that you are mining and i wish you all luck in the next six months and hopefully we don't lose many more miners because i have seen people stopping to mine right now and they sold all of their rigs like one week ago when prices were tanking and they are sorry for that right now because prices seems to be correcting so thank you guys for watching this video see you soon in another one and let me know in the comments what what kind of rigs do you run or if you just stopped mining after all of those crashes that we had in the last few months so see you soon and bye